Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to solve proportions. As you can see, we have three important things that we need to remember when solving proportions. A proportion is just a statement of equality between two ratios. So for example, a proportion would look something like this. In order to cross multiply, this means that you will multiply the numerator of one fraction with the denominator of the other fraction fraction and then you will repeat. So in our example we would take the numerator of the first fraction, multiply it times the denominator of the second fraction, and then we would take the denominator of the first fraction and multiply it with the numerator of the second fraction. This is what's referred to as cross multiplication. After doing cross multiplication you will solve the equation for the variable. After you cross multiply you'll get a simple equation and then when you have this equation you'll have to solve for the variable of x. And if you're learning anything right now don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and get started on our first practice problem on solving proportions. This problem gives us one third is equal to x over 12. Now we know the first step for solving proportions is to cross multiply and then after you cross multiply you will solve for x. So cross multiplication means you take the numerator of the first ratio and you multiply it times the denominator of the second ratio. I'm going to do 1 times 12 as the first part of our cross multiplication. And then I'm going to do the same thing in reverse. I'm going to take the denominator of the first ratio and multiply it times the numerator of the second. And then I'll do 3 times x. After we cross multiply, we can start to simplify. 1 times 12 is 12, and that's equal to 3 times x. 3 times x is just 3x. Now what we need to do is solve for the x. We have to get x by itself, or x equals a number. To get x by itself, we have to get rid of this 3. 3x is like saying 3 times x. So even though it's not written, there's a little multiplication symbol there. To undo 3 times x, you have to do the opposite of 3 times something, and that's to divide by 3. So I'm going to divide this side by 3 so that I get x by itself. And then whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you also have to do to the other. So I'm also going to divide this side by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Our solution is going to be 4 equals x, or x equals 4, because once I have x equals a number, I know that's the final answer. And we got this solution by cross multiplying numerator times denominator and denominator times numerator and then solving for x. Moving on to our second practice problem, this problem gives us 1 half is equal to 10 over x. Now again, the first thing we have to do is multiply these two ratios together using cross multiplication. So I'm going to do the numerator of the first fraction times the denominator of the second. So I'm going to do 1 times x, so we have 1 times x is equal to the denominator times the numerator of the first fraction times the second fraction. So 2 times 10. Now we can go ahead and simplify. 1 times x is just 1x is equal to 2 times 10, which is 20. This is already solved for x because 1x is just like saying 1 times x. And 1 times x is just going to be the same thing. But in order to show you the process, we can go ahead and divide by 1. And you get x equals 20 divided by 1, which is 20. And you can see it's the same answer. 1x equals 20, or x equals 20 is the same thing. So our solution to this proportion is x equals 20. Finally, our last practice problem for solving proportions gives us 2 over x is equal to 10 over 25. Now to solve for x, we have to first cross multiply. We're going to do 2 times 25, and 2 times 25 on the left is equal to x times 10 on the right. Now we're going to go ahead and simplify. 2 times 25 is 50, and that's equal to x times 10. Well, 10 times x is just 10x. In order to get x by itself, we have to get rid of this 10. This is like saying 10 times x. So the opposite of 10 times something is to divide by 10. So we're going to divide this side by 10 so that the 10s cancel. We have x by itself. Because we divided by 10 on this side, we also have to divide by 10 on this side. 50 divided by 10 on this side is 5. So our solution to this proportions problem is 5 equals x, or x equals 5, because we cross-multiplied, and once we got x equals a number, I know that that number is our answer. 
And if you want to do some more practice problem on solving proportions, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video to get taken to a free worksheet download or a practice quiz that grades itself and tells you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!